No nice shoes. But we want the opposite. We want it to not tangle. Oh, gotcha. Here we go. Go into Battlefield. Oh, oh this is unfair. This is music choice advantage. <laughs> I don't know why they've reached named it to like uh, what stage five ink medium. It's like yeah. no, this is together we ride. Yes. Now I wonder which one of them picked the music. Oh, Mystery for sure. Yeah. It has to be. Alright, really good use of the down tilt just to stop John from dashing in. Ooh. Oh. That Nair spot dodge. I wonder if he could add the follow up. Didn't matter. He hit the dot down tilt. But. Right. And that's what really John likes to go for when he's like trying to dash in, is the dash attack. Because it, go it goes under a lot of things. Not that Mystery has any projectiles to worry about, yeah. but it's a great burst option. Yeah. Especially when you're just a little too close. Uh oh. There's Mystery's projectile is his neutral B. That's, yeah. that's right. <laughs> you can duck under it. There it is. Oh no. Ooh, some good edge guarding. This must be hard for numbers, you know? Lucina has so many options, and he has somewhat of a linear recovery, you know? Exactly. I mean, once Mr. E has you off stage, you have to be so... Oh, no! That was no crazy. Respect. That was crazy. Donna's like, I'll taunt, I'll mix you up. Uh-uh. Yeah, Mr. E's... Oh, my oh, gosh. You should have oh gone for gosh. it. You weren't going to save him. He's taking 60 damage off of a taunt, by the way. Worth it. Yeah. <laughs> John like... deserves it. <laughs> Who taunts in the middle of Grand Finals? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, yes. big F smash. Yeah. I mean, it was a good tech chase. And if he just kind of waited, he could have actually gotten that uh, backwards hit. And we're about even. Yeah. You know what? John didn't, John didn't need that percent. He could have taunted and got away with it. Yeah. Mystery said, I play soccer, too. Check this out. That's right. Right back at him. I don't think he can really play soccer with a sword, though. I don't <laughs> think that's feet illegal. It's allowed only once. That's right. Everyone gets one. Yeah. So they got broadswords on the on the lines. Bad trade for John Numbers. Mystery couldn't find the upbeat and couldn't react at ledge to his options. Really Ooh. good job of just waiting out the sun, Sal. That's what John. That's what John likes to do. Wait there and wait for you to like do an option. Yeah. And Mystery picked the right option. First hit an air into an up tilt, and he's dead. Oh my God. Really good use of the dance you play just to mix up the timing here for approaches. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hold this. Oh, oh my God. Oh, calls him out with a hard read. It's like you're gonna land. All right. Yeah. And even if that hit the shield, there's enough shield stun to, for John just to get out of there. Yeah, that was a great play. Oh my nice gosh. Nice reverse on that too. Who expects that? All right. Mystery trying to call out maybe a longer recovery here. No ledge trump. And what do we see? Mystery has to get down. And he does. Woohoo! <laughs> nice up -y. There you go. Now, this is why he wants Battlefield, so he can recover with the Dolphin Slash easily in the middle. Uh, nice back here. All right, Mystery just has to hold it on stage, not get spiked like that. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been bad. He has the advantage. He's not really worried about dying. I think he should just be playing it safe here. Yes, wait for John to approach. Yeah, but there's a reason he's in Grand Finals and I'm not. So. Fair. <laughs> you saw my Lucina. I'm not like this. Ooh, he went deep for that deep breathing. And this is still... John. 101 ways John can still bring this back. Yeah. And, you know, he has deep breathing up. I wonder how worried he is about getting hit and dying here. I mean, very. he should be. Yep, very. You nair because it's strong. Yeah. Mystery taking that first game. Yeah. Needing one more to take Xeno. What number is this? I think it's 320. 320. 320. Just 100 more. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> 100 more Xenos. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> yeah, this edge guarding, like you were saying, was just some, a sight to behold. So I'm just seeing this good pressure. So many times that game, it was like, oh. You know, John goes down big. All right, Mr. E just has to do this. And then John comes all the way back, and then they're even. And then Mr. E runs away. John comes all the way back. They're even. And then Mr. E runs away with it at the end. Yeah. But I wish we had an opportunity to go back to that second stock because I did want to highlight the difference between Beats and John in that situation. Mm -hmm. Was that 
John waited and threw out the Sun Cell, and what Veets did, that was the big mistake, was he didn't go back and get his double jump. He went in. He was forced to, like, drop without like without anything else, and right. John was able to punish. Mr. E, by contrast, landed back on the platform and then went in, able to get out of that situation if needed. Right. Now, this is... Okay, John, not a big fan of the stage, but this is, on paper, Wii Fit's best stage. Really? Why no ban for Mr. E, think about it? I don't think he knows. Uh, oh, but John knows. Yep. And the reason why is because Wii Fit, Wii Fit Trainer has a wall jump. Uh, and, and Mr. E has a soccer ball to face. Yes. Punishing he must have been a is. really good goalie in uh, grade school. <laughs> Yeah, I kept him out of the goal of his face. Yeah. Oh, no, I always took it to the face, but I kept him <laughs> out of the goal. That's what it's all about. That's right. Forget the concussion. Doesn't matter. Hey, you know what? Concussion never hurt my goodest brainest. <laughs> what is going to be most important here, though, is this edge guarding. Deep. Because though John has the advantage of that wall jump and can recover a lot easier, Mr. E, though... So it can still make it a big difference with his edge guarding. But you were saying? I thought he was dead there. I thought that he had deep breathing, he had an up tilt on platform. I thought that was it. But Mr. E, the eyes are right. Just staying alive, racking up a big combo to the spike. Listen, Mr. E was like, oh, you're going to spike me? No, I'm going to spike you. Yeah. Yeah. And John does use that as a get off me option when like people are getting way too aggressive. And now like this. Yeah. Even stocks in what is potentially the last game of Xeno 320. That sun said salutation. I'll stop. No, it's okay. <laughs> Listen, Mr. E is trying to say sayonara to John here. <laughs> oh, a little up tilt combo. Soccer ball. Oh my gosh. It always comes back. Oh Ooh. no. Mr. E without a jump. Recovers high magnet hands. John had that, and John knows it, but playing it safe, trying to recover well. Back to the platform. Mystery is trying to play it safe there, but John got the better of him. Yep, and with Sun Salutation, no! He jump shield, he's he still lives. alive! No jump though. Dodges Has to recover low. Back air, or, ooh. Really, just all good options there. But what is this, a Lucina with Rage? And that's what Mystery was waiting for, waiting for John to even get that deep breathing, though. It was that opportunity to at least punish that with the lag. Yeah. Oh. No! What? Oh. What happened? Mr. E takes it, but did he just go too low? Run oh, that back. Yeah. Oh, he got footstooled. No! That happened so fast. Okay, we're going to slow that down. Neutral B. Coming <gasps> he got footstooled. You think he did that on purpose? Yes. That's crazy. No, Mr. E has always been known to do that yeah. if he feels he is an advantage. <laughs> and even then, you could see Mr. E not, not believing yeah. that that happened. If we like just go back and just maybe, well, three, eight. So we're going, right? <laughs> we're going. We're going to speed that up a bit. He gets the foot suit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. And John just being like, no. Uh, throws we, the controller. We got the spin. John has said that he'd rather spin the controller than, like, yeah. get visibly upset. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not, his little way to tell me, like, he's not very happy with, like, how he did. Right. That's not a throw. That's a toss. Right. You know, it's a, a toss. spin. Yeah. <laughs> I think the most he's gotten is, like, four rotations. We've actually, like, timed it on stream. Yeah. It's like, one, two. Oh, no, that was three. <laughs> Hasn't gotten four yet. He's working on that. No, I was going to say. Three and a half. It was three and a half? Okay. <laughs> we were struggling to do the math. Oh. <laughs> okay. Three and a half, then. So there's a number to beat. There is a number to beat. I don't think he beat it there. I think no, that was a no. one rotate. That was a half. A half rotate? That was, that was almost a throw. Come on. He could put up better numbers than that. Yeah, but yeah. hey, he did throw that set. That was an excellently played set by Mystery. If we could get the top eight graphic right there, I want to see uh, what that sure. run was like. Let's take a look. Da, da, da. I bet he would be so happy with the music choice. Yeah. He's our resident Kirby main. Oh, very nice. But Mystery, obviously, in first. John Numbers in second. Veets in third. Still has to get through that bracket team, and that is John Numbers for him. John Numbers having taken was a Was John Veets 2-0? -oh? That was 2-0. -oh. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And then Dill, obviously, in fifth over there with... Uh, no, uh, fourth place. And then Raptor and Helper in fifth. And then Dumpling King and Parker in seventh. Yeah. And John getting revenge on Veets. Yes. In the 
Yeah. He had to do it. Yeah, it was a salty run back. I had to do it to him. <laughs> oh, we have royalty in the building here. The kill sage. Huh? <laughs> Uh, Sage, what are you doing here? Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway, what a phenomenal Xena. What were your favorite moments? That's tough. I really liked that that stock, uh, the drag down yeah. into the forward smash from Vitz. That was wonderful. You know, seeing uh, Dill versus John Numbers, the offstage battle they were having. But I think the one that takes the cake for me is Helper versus John Numbers. Yes. Because... A, it was just an amazing set, but B, it felt like they were both where they wanted to be. They were both like on their strongest zones, and then they were trying to make it work. So that that set, my favorite of the night. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. And the reactions from both players just so funny. Thanks. And just, man, you could just really feel it like, you know, the team kill of HO3K, but then at the end, really only one can survive. Yeah, that's true. And it's, yeah, and it's a, they're on a team too, so it yeah. adds that much more drama to the matchup. You know, you can hire this team. You can hire this team to do production for you. You can reach out over at the email at events at house of 3000.nyc, Twitter, Blue Sky, Twitch, yeah, where you're up. watching it now, or YouTube, or even Discord. They are available for hire anytime, anywhere, except Wednesdays, because Wednesdays uh, they're over here. Wonderful. At Xeno Zero Gaming. We, Xeno Weeklies, Super Smash Brothers, every single Wednesday, $15 in total to enter, run by the lovely House of 3000. And if you're like, what else do they do? Well, you know, we got the Grind Fest that is bombs every single Monday. And this coming up Monday, they are also running Street Fighter VI. So come on down and get your Smash Bros. in and your Street Fighties in. And then prepare for... Well, no time to prepare anymore. Xeno Saga is this Saturday. Roman numerals, numerals are gone. <laughs> Nobody knew how to read them. I didn't know how to read them. Saturday, December 2nd. Are you going to be there? Maybe. Good. I'll be there. All right. I'll He's going to be there. You're going to be there. I'm going to be there. We're all going to be there. Yeah, come That's through. We're doing uh, Nick uh, All Star Brawls too, as well. It's one of the side events. Come slime with the best of the best. <laughs> yeah, whatever that means. It's um, a first. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a first. Yeah. Uh, you can you can yell to your opponent, Garfield. You had first. <laughs> I think we're gonna have. I think Max Cashman's gonna come through for for it. It should be fun. That's gonna uh, be great. Yeah. Now I've never played it, but I'll enter. I'll I'll, I'll throw hands with somebody. I'm sure I have a really good Rocco in there somewhere. <laughs> but, you know, if you want to join us on Saturday, we hope to see you there. Thank you so much for commentating with me tonight, Big Easy. Yeah, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yep, and I'm Swiss Rider. You can catch me on Twitter at Arnie Hermes as well as Blue Sky, the same handle. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. Thank you to production, all of our players, all of our lovely viewers. And we will see you next week for more Xeno Weeklies. Peace Bye, out. everyone.